on an island in the Torres Strait, south of Papua New Guinea. There's a larger island on the horizon which offers hope a rescue. But before attempting a risky crossing, there's the issue of food. I'm on the lookout for the bigger fish that congregate near the reef. But without goggles, it's impossible to see clearly in salt water. So I've adapted a plastic bottle as a viewfinder. Hang up. It's like a couple of feelers just poking out from under that rock ledge. But I spotted something that might be an easier catch. There's a lobster down there. Sometimes if you just stroke the tips of the feelers, we'll bring them out. You need to do that first. Lobster claws are powerful enough to break a finger, so I need to be careful. But he's out, and I've got a clear shot. No, straight between the, between the eyes. No, that's killed him straight off. It's a painted rock lobster. Look at the size of that tail. That's going to be good food. Lobster tail is considered a delicacy all around the world. But in island communities, other parts of the animal are just as desirable. And all of the brain is a real delicacy in some parts of the world. But I know where I want to go to. There. The tail. That's what I've been looking forward to. And on the basis that good survival is about keeping your morale up, this is good morale. Wow. <laughs>